What's up guys, I'm Rob HK. Welcome back to another Luma Fusion transition video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the true glass effect, which you've probably seen in a lot of videos that you see on YouTube. And it's basically a camera going towards a window or something which has glass in it. And then out on the other side where you have some sort of uh, different type of effects in between those two frame shots. So let's start by taking a look at the sample that I made for this tutorial. And here you can see that we have the window which I'm going towards with my camera. And then we have a tiny like some sort of a glass transition effect or if you want to call it that. It looks like it's going through glass. So this is the effect and it goes from inside through the window and outside and then it continues. So to create this effect you basically need a camera and a window or something that has a glass frame. And in this case I used my Sony A6300 camera and also used my Seijun Crane Plus which is the gimbal I use for my video filming when I use the Sony A6300. So I'm going to show you an example of how to film this and you're going to start by taking the camera close to the window and then you're going to drag it backwards and try to drag it as steady as you can because that will give you the best result and once you drag it from the window and then back out you can always go into post-production inside of luma fusion and then you reverse that clip so it looks like you're going forward and the reason why you want to start at the window is simply because you don't want to crash your lens into the window. So it's easier to start from the window up close and then move backwards and then reverse it inside of LumaFusion or any other program that you use. And if you have a camera where you can apply a grid like I do on this camera, you can easily see inside the grid and you can find a position inside the grid uh, where you are filming. So it's easier, let's say for example, you have the middle grid inside your camera and when you're going towards the window uh, or filming from the window and then drag your camera back, when you start close to the window, you, s you find a point inside that middle frame. The best way is to like take one in the corner because it's easier to find outside. And if you don't have a flip screen, you go a little bit further away from the window so you can see the same grid when you're filming outside and you try to place the same subject exactly at the same spot inside the grid. And this will give you the best and the fastest workflow to make this transition. Otherwise, you can also go into post-production and you can try to scale and rotate and, and, and all that to, to get them to match up as good as possible. And you can also see that inside of a Luma Fusion, we have two clips. This is one clip and this is the other clip. This is inside and this is outside. And you can see how I match them up like perfectly together by using the bottom of this video file. And I try to match the snow as close as possible to the placement of the first camera movement, which was inside. You can't really notice the difference between outside and inside. So it's the only thing is the exposure. It's a little bit darker inside than it is on the outside, but you can always adjust that if you want to do that. And there's also tons of effects you can add to this transition or the same effect. Uh, it's more like the correct word. You don't need to use the exact same effect that I applied, but I will provide some free presets for it. So you will get the effect that I just created in LumaFusion for this transition. I will upload that effect as well, which you can find in the description below, directly linked to Google Drive. So this is a pretty awesome effect that you can add to any clip anywhere and you can simply film it with your phone, just add it directly into LumaFusion and you can edit uh, the footage and you will be done in like a few minutes depending on the effect that you want to apply. But if you use this effect that I added for this uh, transition or effect, um, you will pretty much be done in like five minutes, depending on how... Five minutes, I reckon five minutes. Five minutes and you will be done. And also it's really important to do, not just do one shot of going from the window or the 
car door or wherever you want to film and then backwards it's it's important to do it more than one time because it's not like your first shot is going to be perfect in some cases of course first shot will be perfect and that's the best feeling in the world more or less if you're a filmmaker but try to do like five six seven takes or something because it doesn't really take that long and you can do the same thing outside as well just take a lot of different shots a lot of movements and you take the best of those five six clips that you have and you put those together so that's it for this transition why do I keep saying I've made so many transitions I keep saying transitions to everything but this effect this through glass effect I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this is super easy to make you can make it everyone can make it and uh, as I said description down below you can get the effects that I added to this transition and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe it really helps me out a lot don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, notifications on to get notified when I upload new videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!